I'm Gary Morgan. I'm the historian of the Scottsboro Boys Museum. And we've been in existence for a very short period of time, about eight months. Sheila asked me to come aboard, and during that time, it's been a blessing, a true blessing. It's been an experience, and it makes me think back as I read about the history of the Scottsboro Boys case, the trials and tribulations, that the suffering of people in the United States, of minority people have gone through in the United States. But it brings us up to the time where we're at now in our nation. As we look out in our nation today, we see some of the same trials and suffering and tribulations. And so we all must remember of who we are as a common people. I can tell you as an old soldier, having served many, many years and retired from the military, that skin color really doesn't matter. When it comes down to it, we all are judged by what is in our soul. Not, and we are judged by what our actions are from our soul. So, there are times maybe that be tough. There's times that have been in the past that has been tough. But we are today Americans. The sacrifices that African Americans have made, the sacrifices that Native Americans have made, all come to bring us where we are today. And this is what we must look forward to in our future. The Scottsboro Boys Museum is about education. It is about ending racism in an area. In Scottsboro, Alabama, there's a tremendous task, but I believe in my heart, and I know Sheila does, and as many of you out here do, and it can be done. Racism can be ended. It may seem like a monumental task, but it can be done if you want it, if you as an individual.